No more homework. No more homework. All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're going to be looking at an absolute god of our generation, a pioneer to a revolutionary movement called hashtag no more homework. Now, I'm sick of homework. You're sick of homework. Every single person in this world is sick of homework, except Nerdy Joe sitting in his corner. Oh, teacher, teacher, give me more homework. Listen, it's a universal truth. Okay, every single human being just hates homework. Okay, the teachers probably hate homework as well But now I don't know I feel like they're inflicting a chain of grief because they had to do homework when they were small So they're like, all right, I'm gonna make these kids suffer So yesterday I saw this trending on Twitter and I found it absolutely hilarious It was no more homework in full capital letters trending in the US I'm, I was just like, all right, okay, goddamn people have had enough, all right? They're sick. They're sick of this absolute oppression going on, you know? And initially, I thought this was like this movement by a bunch of like college students or something or or maybe the school faculty of like a certain college like banded together to start a movement. But this was all started by this one kid. I think his name is Chase and he made this video that went absolutely viral, right? He's pretty much this really cute kid and he's just talking about why homework sucks and it kind of makes no sense to even have homework because it's just like school at home. Listen, I've been making these points since the, the dawn of my existence. Like if you were a classmate of mine in any of my years throughout school or college, you will literally hear me complaining about homework all the time. So I don't know what to say. This kid is pretty much my spirit animal and I support him 100%. So without further ado, let's take a look at this video and say hello to our new president of the world, our ultimate overlord. Homework is basically school at home. You doing homework at home when you really supposed to do stuff at school. He just has a way with words, doesn't he? Like 15,000 languages in the world, he chose to speak facts, baby. Ain't school the place to learn? Home is to come from school, chill, get on your tab to get on again what you want to do. True, once again, absolute facts, dude. Home is Pegasus time. You come home from school and you want to watch some YouTube videos, you want to play some games, you don't want to spend your time. It's like scientifically proven that, you know, constantly focusing on one thing the entire day is just going to make you worse at it. It's like you need to give yourself a break. Like even in the most effective study techniques, there's always break systems in place because your brain cannot focus all the time. You know, I always say I'm so disappointed in the new generation. I am proud of the new generation. This kid is worth it. This kid has made my entire day. But the teachers want to take like 30 minutes of your time, an hour of your time, just to give you homework. They do this to bother you. I don't know why they do that. I love how he says they do this to bother you, not to, not to make you learn or not to make you practice anything, just to bother you. And honestly, I kind of agree, dude. Sometimes the teachers are just like, hey, I have a dead end job and I absolutely hate my life. Try, time, to, time to make your life hell as well. 30 minutes of your time, an hour of your time. Also, I don't know what kind of homework this kid is getting where it's only 30 minutes of your time or an hour of your time. The homework I got was absolutely relentlessly bugging, bro. I remember the maths homework I got in high school. It was the most brain dead thing I've ever seen because you, you do this one problem, right? This one type of problem, but then there's 500 of like the same problem and you have to do each and every one of them like I already did the first one I know how to do it. Okay, maybe give me five But there's like so many there's like 50 and then there's like seven pages or something It would take me from like 5 to 9 p.m. It was ridiculous, dude I know a lot of people watching the viral video and they're just kind of dismissing it like okay It's a whatever it's just some cute kid talking about why he doesn't like homework everybody does that But I, I think it really like brings out a pretty important message. Listen and I'm not saying to eradicate homework forever, all right? That wouldn't really make much sense because then the kids who aren't motivated to study on their own will probably never practice the concepts or anything like that. And uh, yeah, mo more likely to fail and stuff like that. But the thing is, I think the quantity and ridiculousness of some of the homework they give us leaves like no free time for you to do anything else. I don't know why they do that, but there's teachers. All our kids, all our kids, put your hands up. Hopefully everybody see this video. No more homework. 
No more homework. Now we out. I mean, he's kind of missing the enthusiasm of the no more homework. Like, you know, you need a little bit of, you know, a little bit of more pizzazz over there, but don't worry. You're just starting off, brother. Listen, I'm technically not even a kid anymore, but I will put my hand up, all right? I stand with brother Chase. Do you stand uh, as well? Comment below. Listen, that entire video was a symphony of everything I want to see in the new generation. Rebellion. Just kidding, not mindless rebellion. Rebellion against the BS, all right? The BS we've been served for ages and ages and the 500 year school system that ha still hasn't changed bro listen we weren't powerful or strong enough to change anything but i believe you kids are okay if there's any kids the age of chase watching or any anybody from the new generation at all i salute you anyways there's this girl that posted the video of him on twitter and it kind of blew up and that's where i found it from and she ended up contacted him contacting him as well and it was a very wholesome experience so she said that uh because i wanted more people to see it child they are loving you on there and sticking beside you. Anyway, I say this to you, you're an amazing, intelligent kid with a beautiful spirit and a great sense of humor. You're going to do so many wonderful things in this lifetime, and me and so many other people from the internet can't wait to see what your future holds. Listen, I don't think this kid expected his speech to go viral at all, but I think he absolutely loves it. He, he says, thank you so much, heart. Your words mean everything. Much love. My mom is about to follow you on Twitter. Now, if I can get a follow from this kid, my, my day is made, bro. This is definitely not the intention of this video at all. Now, but honestly, to those of you teachers who feel the need to overload your students with just piles and piles of homework to the point where they, they, they don't even have a brain anymore and they're, they're doing more learning off school than doing in school. I think there's legitimately a huge problem there. I remember I used to skip my homework assignments just so I could study, which is which sounds very counterintuitive, right? Why, why wouldn't you just do your homework? Because it's studying. Because the homework was so like, like it was the same thing repeated over and over when I could be studying another topic. It was genuinely the dumbest thing ever. It's kind of like somebody teaching you Mario Kart or something and they only teach you how to press the A button and they're like, practice pressing the A button and never letting go of it. Now practice this for 30 hours. Meanwhile, I can I can learn drifting or I don't know how to use items or something like that. This is so incredibly stupid. I, I don't know if you guys have had similar experiences. Let me know in the comments below. So one more thing I wanted to say just so people don't get the wrong message. Message, right homework is not a bad thing in itself homework is meant to you know hone your skills and stuff basically the only reason they give you homework is because they know you're not motivated to study by yourself so they give you this mandatory assignment so basically here you're, you're forced to study but again the backside of that is people do it half-heartedly in my class i remember in any grade, one person would do the homework and then everybody would just copy off them. Anyways, in conclusion, I really do enjoy these little wholesome viral videos because they, they do help us talk about some more deeper topics. Also, there's a lot of BS on the internet and it's nice to see wholesome stuff. Anyways, Chase, we stand with you. No more homework. Hashtag no more homework. Everybody spam. Hashtag no more homework. All right, that's about it. Have a wonderful day ahead, everybody. And yeah, it's a pioneer of the next generation. Bye-bye.